Since childhood, I never owned a house or lived at one place. I'm 23, by the way. When I was pregnant, oh, sorry, sorry, wait, 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 sorry. I mean my mother. She rode a plane to America and gave birth to me. Then I, I went in a loophole where I couldn't get out because I was traveling to Japan, Pakistan, Japan, Pakistan, Japan, Pakistan, Japan, Pakistan, Japan, Pakistan, Japan, Pakistan for like a million times. Since what I exactly remember, our family moved out house after house after house every single year. 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Roll it, baby. And then we moved to this place where we lived for a few years until the year 2017 that I decided to move to Japan. Let's go! Konnichiwa! So I lived in Tokyo for 7 months. That I decided to move to Beppu, which is not Pu, but it's Beppu. Anyways, I lived in a university dorm for 4 months, then to this place for the next 4 months, then to Sean's house for 3 months, then in Omar's house for 8 months. Uh, I wanna push it! <laughs> Omer, Omer. Yes! Uh, you might feel like I'm traveling to somewhere, but I'm moving out from my one house to another. I used to live with Sean and Shiraz, but now I'm going to another place. The reason why I'm moving out is uh, the place where I was living it was Beit Urusai. I was like temporarily living with him for like two months. Actually, I was looking for my own house, so now I found that I moved out to one room in Kanagawa. And then COVID happened, so I was stuck for like a couple of months that I moved to Tsubasa's house for three months then to e Put. this is like this is the house that we call e Put. it's like a nice name Then I got into a relationship with Kana, so I decided to move back to the one room. And then we moved out again to this village with Kana. This is my new house and I'm going to clean it. Okay, so everything was perfect until I decided to move to America. I don't know what happened to my brain, but probably some chemical reactions, I guess. First week at Mitchell's house, then I'm going out on a short run with Mitchell. Three nights in a Mexican hotel where I was fucking scared. So yeah, I think I have decided not to go outside because it's not safe to go. And then a night in New York. And look at this beautiful like spectacular view of new york city i'm leaving the hotel i'm going to times square and um, i don't really know what i'm gonna do today and then to my brother-in-law's father's friends friends co-workers house 28th of april going to see the house I'll just make a reality check video 101 and the reality is that I'm staying in a basement right now this is the basement that I'm staying in and I'm kind of worried of where I'm gonna be staying in the next few days I didn't really make any videos because I'm moving from one place to another and from another to the third and the fourth and the fifth and just tired uh, while doing Ramadan and uh, traveling and the days are long here in america so i just want to place a place where i can rest for a while and then to irfan bhai's house who is my sister's husband's father's friend for like um 10 days i stayed there thank you for that this is going to be my fifth 
place is staying in America and I can't really shout um, so the first one was Mitchell's house the second was the the Mexican hotel that I was staying in the third was the hotel in New York that I was staying and I was excited in the, at night and then in the morning I was like gone the fourth was um, the guy who was really nice Kayum Kayum brother my new friend and the fifth is this house is my brother-in-law's father's who's my uncle Mamu father's friend so not my father my brother-in-law's father's friend who also um, know my mother but it's a like very long distance relationship but this guy is also very nice and this is his house this is the outside of the house which is clean and beautiful let's go We are very stressed right now because she wants to use hair dryer and um, there is a guy there is a guy named Duck. Duck <laughs> did So and that guy is kind of not picking our calls and uh, we have been to his house for three or four times but he's not responding at all. That is the place where we were supposed to move in and uh, We are homeless right now. Mm. This is our um, maybe seventh, eighth time to go and visit a new place, a room where we might be able to stay. Not really sure if that guy would allow two people to live. We are packing our stuff and we have cleaned the room and moving out to a new place. Bye bye, your fan bye. Nani, kawaii no? And now I'm renting this room for $950 and I don't really know how long I would live here until I decide to move. We are in this room that we have like rented for a month for $700. Which is a quite a lot of money but it's still the best place that we could find. And special thanks to our host family, the nicest in the world. Like they literally give us everything from these new spoons and this set to this kitchen stuff utensils and uh, what do we call this mini maker for egg and other stuff and these plates and uh, they also give us like a lot of water I mean can you imagine I mean this is like crazy they literally give us this much of water and this tissue as well and uh, there is a lot of stuff that they give us um, let me show where is the hair dryer this is the kitchen of our new house they give us this pan so that we can cook with this lid I'm like surprised and this old this plate as well this bowl and uh, they give us like they give kind of new hair dryer um, I don't really know where that hair dryer is we can make pasta as well so jazakallah and thank you for that and they also give this and you might be wondering why I'm telling you this story well this was all for the context of a new story that I'm about to tell you <laughs>